वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज आई अपलोडेड द टॉपिक इन ब्रेड वराइटी इन ब्रेड लाइन नाउ अगेन लट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन हैव स्टार्टेड द इन ब्रेड वराइटी एंड प्योर लाइन लेट मी क्लैरिफाई हियर इफ यू गो टू माई वीडियो the breeding methods in cell point crops i have already described about the pure line selection you see uh what is pure line pure line is a uh a progeny of a single homozygous plant in cell pollinated crops that's all progeny of single homozygous plant in cell pollinated crops is called pure line so through pure line selection you are selecting a single plant that plant has uh, looking superior to others and you have grown the progeny you have seen the all the progeny of that plant are looking homogeneous it it is uh, assumed that the plant from where this progeny have uh, you have taken is homozygous that is why you have got all progeny are homogeneous ek hi jaise hain sabhi paude so that plant was homozygous so whatever this is superior and you have tested it and you have found it that it is superior to all the checks and you are releasing it once it is released it is called pure line variety because you have used pure line selection method and that is why you are saying that this is pure line variety but you see the product na the product is homozygous where in self pollen crops so whatever variety you are having in self pollen crops either it is pure line derived through pure line selection or entirely you have made the artificial hybridization and then you have come to the level of homozygosity and you have attained so you are saying high yielding variety a new variety you have developed which is high yielding not through pure line selection method so after hybridization you have developed a new variety entirely new variety you are calling it uh high yielding variety so pure line variety high yielding variety improved variety improved variety say for example whatever popular varieties uh, like in case of rice you are having swarna swarna has been improved with putting one gene through back cross method now the method has been applied here is molecular back cross method and you have improved the swarna that is why swarna has become by putting one gene in that sub one gene and that has become swarna sub one this is the improved version of swarna the improved variety that uh, that can sustain in submergence uh, in flood once uh, you have transplanted and flood has come and it is submerged for uh, 10 to 12 days so it will not destroy because of the single gene so improved variety so improved variety that is also homozygous the high yielding variety in cell pollen crops that is also homozygous the pure line variety this is also homozygous so all homozygous lines varieties which are in cultivation are released for cultivation we are calling inbred variety in case of cell pollen crops just to differentiate the confusion among the consumers or farmers or among the scientists that no this is hybrid rice no this is inbred variety of rice so in inbred all are coming whether it is pure line variety whether it is high yielding variety whether it is improved version of improved variety so don't be confused with the and don't ask please this uh, such type of question that uh, sir what then what you call pure line variety that is all coming in inbred varieties 
so here i i specifically said that just to uh, uh, remove the confusion between because everybody ask every farmer sir sir ye hybrid variety hai bhai dekh ke to nahi pata chalta hai so you have to say no this is not hybrid if it is a uh, pure line variety or high yielding variety or improved variety if it is homozygous line uh, you have to say that this is in inbred variety so in place of that to cre- uh, to remove the confusion between uh, homozygous uh, varieties and uh, uh, the yfon hybrids we have to say to all the scientists also ask that uh, that's a this is uh, inbred variety or hybrid so this is so in in inbred pure line high yielding variety H- hyv improved variety all are coming as i said that uh, inbred variety we are using because of, in, in case of self planted crops for homozygous lines so please don't confuse with this small small things thank you very much if you like please go and comment and like it and give your comment thank you very much